There's been two scary crashes uh, in my career. One was my very first Grand Prix back in 1983. Uh, I was racing for Honda Britain and the race got underway and uh, I think a lot of people will remember this is when uh, I was about mid-pack. Franco Ancini was the current world champion. He came in the corner high-sided. Most of the bikes avoided him. Uh, as, I, as he's appeared in front of me, I went to the left to try to veer away from him. And of course, uh, in that moment, he's landed on the ground, he's got up and tried to run off the track, and um, we've collided. I went off into the ditch, and Franco's helmet, uh, when I hit him, it spun him round me there, his helmet came off, and um, he, uh, he sustained facial uh, injuries as well. Uh, after that, um, I uh, thought my career was over before it even started. Um, it was a really scary moment. I remember going to the hospital and seeing Franco and Chini uh, in a coma and his family were crying and blaming myself and it was a very, very sad moment and, uh, but fortunately I had some great people around me that supported me. Um, he came out of his coma about three weeks later. Uh, I was racing for the Honda Britain at this time and I went back and did some races and started winning again and of course uh, all's been good. Since then, Franco is now part of the uh, safety team that go around uh, reviewing all the racetracks around the world. And it's quite uh, ironic how he's ended up there. And of course, uh, we've all got better. Now, the other pretty frightening moment for myself was probably my last Grand Prix at Assen uh, back in 92. I was on a fast qualifying lap. Um, and I remember I was just coming back uh, from a uh, broken leg that earlier that season started to build up pace and um, was on a hot lap into the first turn after the start and finish and there was a slow rider I approached the corner very fast the slow rider didn't give me much room had to go around the outside of him and of course uh, I was on such a hot pace I ran out of road on the exit went onto the grass put the bike down slid across the grass and hit a post that was covered in a hay bale uh, knocked myself out went into my back thought I'd broken my neck uh, and they took me off to hospital and I was uh, unconscious and kept coming in and out of consciousness while I was in a big CAT scan machine. And I didn't know what was going on. I was actually thought I was dying that day and thought it was all over. It was a very, very scary moment. Um, and in fact, that was the moment that ended my career. I decided that, geez, um, it's not worth doing this and uh, decided to retire at the end of that season, which was the end of 92.